is Solar PVTV once again from Dubai, from DII Leadership Summit. And now we are with one of the keynote speakers actually here, with Frank Wouters, uh, former director, deputy director of IRENA, a person who is working in solar and renewable energy since quite a lot of years. But uh, most interesting is uh, that he's very involved, especially here in the region and in emerging markets. So he knows a lot actually about that. He's also chair of the EU GCC uh, initiative. And I would like to uh, start first, uh, Frank, could you update us, actually, because you are doing so a lot of stuff. Yes, well, well thank you. Um, uh, I, uh, since the beginning of this year, I'm the director of the EU GCC Clean Energy Network, uh, which is um, an initiative that was uh, basically started by both the European Union and the GCC Secretariat uh, to foster partnerships in the field of clean energy uh, between institutions of the EU and the GCC. And we're looking at five topics. We're looking at renewable energy, we're looking at energy efficiency demand side management, we're looking at the, the integration of electricity grids, uh, carbon capture, uh, storage uh, and utilization. Uh, and then lastly, we're also looking at climate change as, as a cross-cutting uh, uh, topic. And it's an inclusive bottom-up uh, network that um, uh, is, is basically involved with both the private sector as well as the, as the public sector. Uh, and, and the idea is to uh, basically share information and to benefit from each other's experience and background. But you are not making like a kind of competition or overlapping with the AI, with IRENA, with the associations? Uh, not at all. We're actually uh, good partners and friends of, of all of them. Uh, I mean, there is a place, uh, I, I think, for, for everybody. And, uh, you know, we're, uh, you know, specifically focusing on, on five topics, which are a little bit broader than, than renewables. Uh, and we're also specifically focusing on the relationship between the European Union uh, and the GCC. Uh, and we're good friends with uh, both DII and IRENA. We, uh, we co-organize events and basically benefit from each other. Because uh, one of the, let's say, key uh, policy topics now in the European Union is support of Africa and also GCC region in terms of energy, yes? Yes, uh, definitely. I mean, uh, the, the, there, have, uh, there has been a long-standing energy relationship between the European Union and the GCC. Uh, you know, right now the European Union would like to diversify uh, the supply of energy uh, and, and one of the, uh, the elements of that is creating an integrated gas market, uh, which is of course an interesting uh, opportunity for a gas uh, LNG supply uh, from, from this region. So that is an interesting and, and growing opportunity and vice versa, the GCC would like to benefit from the experience that uh, that Europe has uh, in in the last uh, decade or, or a couple of decades in the integration of more renewables in an energy efficiency how to manage the grids uh, etc so it's a it's a very fruitful uh, relationship uh, going both ways and uh, Franco when did you come actually here to to uh, Emirates I came in 2009 how do you observe let's say the the change towards renewable energies towards solar in the country well, I mean, it has been quite a dramatic change in the sense that, you know, in 2009, uh, and, and I, I did a number of uh, larger projects on behalf of Mazda, the renewable energy company of, of, the, of Abu Dhabi. Uh, for example, uh, the Shams One uh, concentrated solar power plant with, with 100 megawatts. We did uh, photovoltaics and, and wind, etc. Uh, but what has happened in the last uh, seven years is of course amazing in the sense that right now uh, renewables specifically in the UAE are among the cheapest option for electricity so uh, solar panels now are only a fraction of what they cost uh, uh, seven years ago so that has changed everything if we're looking at Dubai uh, who doesn't have uh, large amounts of fossil fuels they have to import energy uh, solar energy is actually the cheapest form of energy uh, they, they can they can have so that's why they've they've upped their plans they've increased their ambition uh, so it's an entirely different situation right now than uh, than seven years ago. But besides uh, that, the fact that you are based here, yeah, you are traveling a lot to all the emerging markets. So which markets are the most hot, let's say, from your perspective? Well, I mean, the, the beauty about renewable energy is that it's, it's basically hot almost everywhere because it is available everywhere. So you, you can do a solar panel on the North Pole and, and it would still make sense. So, uh, you know, given the, the, the cost competitiveness, of course, uh, you know, countries differ in, in their demand for energy. But if you're asking, you know, where I see a lot of interesting uh, developments, it, it's, it's obviously in Africa, where there is a, a, a huge and growing demand for modern energy.
energy services. There is many places, in most places actually, where the grid will not reach cost effectively. Now, renewable specifically, smaller solar systems offer uh, a ready and, and very uh, affordable uh, solution for that in the short term. But also the larger ground-based uh, systems um, uh, for solar, but also wind energy are, are very, very interesting and being looked at by many, many governments. Remember you had a consultancy company. Are you still running this company and what are your activities? Yeah, I do a number of things. Of course, uh, you know, my main activity is, is basically running uh, the EU GCC Clean Energy Network. Uh, but I'm also involved in, uh, for example, advising uh, the, the government of Nigeria, uh, who has, um, you know, a large power deficit. Uh, it's really hurting the economy that they um, uh, don't have a stable and secure power supply. Uh, and, you know, with the, the present cost structure of renewables, it's, it's a great opportunity. Uh, but integrating uh, large-scale uh, variable renewables, and, and they're at the moment seriously looking at solar, uh, is, is not like a straightforward thing. You know, they, they also need to upgrade the grids. You know, part of the issue is that the solar resource in the north of the country uh, is the best, so you would have potentially the lowest cost electricity from there. There, but the grid, uh, the demand centers is actually in the south, so you need the transmission grid, which, which needs uh, upgrading. Uh, there is also many, many issues with the regulatory framework. So there is a lot of, of, of work to be done to actually tap into this uh, cost-effective solution. Exactly, because we became now cost-effective, but still we need to make the whole transformation of the whole system. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so, so you're looking at, at, a, at a system uh, approach, but you're also looking at, you know, bankability. I mean, in the end, you know, you, you still need to attract foreign uh, investors and, and foreign suppliers of technology uh, that have to feel comfortable with uh, an off-take contract. You know, all the cost of renewables come up front, or most of it. Uh, so you need to have trust that you will get paid over a long period of time. Uh, and in a country, um, you know, where, you know, currency is, is an issue, uh, you know, that is certainly not, not easy and straightforward. It's, it's very different from, for example, the UAE, uh, where you have a double A rated uh, government as an, as an off taker. So you need all the credit enhancement, so you need to you know, involve the, the, you know, the uh, uh, development banks, etc., and all the tricks in the book. But uh, you are facilitating this job, yeah? It's part of uh, you know a, a large team uh, that uh, that we're having on the ground to to support the government in in legal aspects, in financial aspects, and in technical aspects. But anyway, the transformation road is unstoppable. No? It's uh, indeed unstoppable. It was a word that I think was first uh, uh, coined by the Deutsche Bank in a research paper a couple of years ago. But and it certainly has proven to be true. It is unstoppable. How did you like the event? I think it's another great event. I mean, uh, part, part of the reason why uh, I, I support Desert Tech uh, Industrial Initiative is that it is the only uh, industry-led initiative that is really looking at, at this region and other desert areas uh, and, and looks at it from a systems point of view. I mean, many governments are struggling uh, with, you know, the question how to integrate more variable or cost-effective renewables uh, and, you know, having a platform to debate, you know, some of these issues with industry uh, is what DII can offer. So in that sense, it's another great event. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, that was Solar PVTV together with uh, Frank Wouters, working here in the region since almost eight years, and uh, who will stay here until we reach maybe 100% of renewable energies. Thanks for watching.